This, since this is going to be a riding video, I'll start out with uh, drawing a little map here where we're going to ride today. We're going to go out and go down to these woods here in the center. And we're going to stop and go over and check a camera and go on further down, pull in next to one of the big stands I have. And I'll show you the little shooting rain lanes that are you can kind of see on uh, Google Earth there that's laid out in, in the woods there. And then uh, we'll head on a little bit further south and go across on a little water crossing and uh, through some woods there and uh, chase some pigs and then head back down this road and back into uh, the camp area and that would be the end of this video so we'll uh, start up I have compressed the video to speed it up a little bit so I'm gonna narrate over all this when I did compress it the uh, audio got compressed too so it wasn't usable so I'm at my campsite fired up and we're backing out and uh, we're gonna go for a little ride here The road we're on right here is a main kind of east-west road that uh, pretty much cuts our property that we have here in half. Uh, and everything to the left would be, well actually this whole section here south of the reservoir is considered our south side and then we have a, a north side on the other side. So we're headed out here and we turn in this double gates here, uh, cross underneath the power lines. And you'll notice a lot of water. This is in, I believe, January. And this has been one of the wettest uh, winters uh, I have ever experienced on here in the 15 years I've been out here in this ranch. And so we've got a lot of sanding water in, in the pastures. And you can see there the dark spots. And that's where the pigs and wild hogs uh, have been rooting around in the, in the pastures. And uh, they really tear it up. And that's why the ranchers uh, hate them so much they just destroy pasture land and basically that's uh, the food for the cattle. This whole area was uh, cut, was cut, they cut sod out of here about a year or so ago. And after they uh, they left, things started growing back. All this uh, plant they call dog fennel just popped up like a forest, and that's what they, all that tall brown grass is that you see on both sides of the kind of the path here. And the reason this path is here is because we run a bush hog down through here um, last spring, probably in the August September time frame, and it, uh, it stayed clear all winter. Now we pull up and stop here. It's a, a, a crossing. You see, I got a little wooden catwalk there. It's a, got water in it now. It's kind of a drainage ditch. I probably could have made it through okay with the, my four wheeler, but uh, I, I didn't feel like getting mud slung all over me because it, it gets real soft. Some of these crossings have a hard sand bottom and it's no problem driving through, but this particular one here does have a soft, mucky bottom to it. And I've uh, actually driven through there when it was damp with my uh, Chevy Blazer and come close to getting stuck. But I was able to make it through. Now we're walking in now to where I have um, a large tripod stand. 
and then where I'm standing right now is where the stand used to be but it was so much out in the open and the, it didn't have a roof on it and setting in the afternoon it would get hot setting out in the sun and I have no no cover uh, basic background coverage to break up my profile this is the stand and I climb up in it for a minute because I'm actually looking for a uh, a um, thermosel that I had uh, come up missing I thought I had left it in the stand but uh, you'll see a little bit later I found it in one of my other stands so I climb up take a peek and then come down and I um, change out the memory cards and my camera I have uh, tied to a tree there This stand is made by a company called Family Traditions. It has uh, two nice, comfortable swivel chairs in it. And all those clearings you see out there, those were all cut out last year because this, this stand, in fact, I had to cut a lot of branches out of the tree just to fit this stand in there. Then we come out with chainsaws and pulled vines out of trees and everything to make clearings so we could see out of it. And where that ladder is uh, laying down, the little tree right straight ahead and is where the um, camera is tied to. And I was getting a picture of wild hogs come through here, some deer coming through, and a lot of cattle. I'm using these new Energizer um, lithium ion batteries. Uh, they're a lot more expensive, but they do seem to last uh, quite a bit longer than normal Duracell batteries or the normal EverReady batteries. So I highly recommend them. The cards I'm using in the camera are four gigabyte cards. It's supposed to take up to eight gigabytes, um, but they don't seem to work well, so I stick with the four gigabytes and I'll maybe check it uh, usually once a week or maybe every couple weeks if I don't think there's been a lot of traffic through the area, especially if it's been set up where I know there's no cattle around. The problem is that this is a working cattle ranch and sometimes the cattle come in and just happen to hang out around it and uh, I'll have a whole card full of uh, cow pictures. <laughs> so I have to keep checking them every now and then. Near on the right or straight ahead, you can see that little knoll there. That's basically, actually it's just dirt that was dug out when they created that drainage ditch. It gave me a nice uh, visibility in, off the left and across the drainage ditch into the open pasture that we were riding up through. This uh, catwalk, I had to wait till it was, uh, this whole area dried up and I come out with post wall diggers, put it in. And uh, this year, the water got high enough to actually come over the top of that. Uh, little catwalk that we had built. I was trying to take advantage of the use of my uh, four-wheeler here because uh, this year after deer season, uh, basically the middle of January, the ranch has banned uh, four-wheeler ATVs from the ranch property. And now they will only allow uh, what's known as a UTV, utility vehicle, or people call them side-by-side, -side, like the Polaris Rangers and Kawasaki Mules and that. Um, they, these ATVs were getting misused by some of the other um, hunters around on the property. And, and there I'm pointing out to where my big box line is located. We're going to go down, go through some water, and come up around and, and uh, go over and look up a nap for my... Uh, lost thermosel. The 
anybody's wondering what a thermocell is, I probably should mention that uh, little thing that you can uh, uh, gas propelled, gas propelled, uh, you know, fired up uh, for mosquito repellent. Those are uh, those clearing paths you see out there. Those are basically like shooting lanes that uh, over the past few years the chainsaw has gone out and cleared those through these uh, tall bushes. They call them myrtle, but basically like crepe myrtle bushes. And here this is another crossing. It's kind of right in front of where my big box blind stand is. And uh, see it's full of water now so I'm looking for prints. And where those stakes are usually where I have a camera. Uh, set up and I move move the camera around periodically so I'll have it here during hunting season especially or before hunting season to see what animals are around and that was a glimpse of my big box blind and we're going to go up in and uh, discover where my uh, lost thermocell unit was. If you uh, go on Google Earth and uh, notice where this uh, stand was located, there's a little icon there on Google Earth map. If you hover over that and click on it, you'll pull up photographs that were uh, taken at this spot of turkeys and bobcats and coyotes and uh, pigs and uh, deer and uh, might even be a cow picture and I don't know. There I'm looking back over into that big pasture in the center of this whole wooded area they call it the Big Head and I just talking about the all that brooms or that uh, dog fennel grass that has grown up and where it used to be fairly clear. Now there's uh, I'm pointing out due west the shooting lane that actually runs about 400 yards out there before you hit a fence line and there's another one that goes south and I cleared that out a year ago and that probably runs another five six hundred yards to the fence line. That's kind of southwest, and this is kind of northeast, that one there on the right. And that probably goes out there maybe uh, 250 yards or so. And what I'm uh, pointing out here is I can see deer crossing that far left crossing uh, shooting lane, and I know that they'll, if they're headed this way, they'll cross these other shooting lanes. And it gives me a chance to, to look at them to see whether they're uh, a deer that meet the harvest criteria old enough and uh, whether, you know, bucks or does and get a better look at the rack on it. I mean, I think it's funny about the carpeting on the floor in there, and there's my lost summer cell. But the carpeting serves a purpose, uh, not so much a comfort, but if you get a, a like that plastic chair on a, on a bare wooden piece of plywood and you go to move a little bit, you get a real loud noise. So that carpeting help and helps deaden any noise and movement inside the blind while you're out there. Well, I've swapped out the memory cards in my camera and I found my lost uh, thermocell, so we're uh, 
we're headed back to camp now. We're kind of doing a big loop, headed, headed back a different direction than we came in. And I got some more water here to cross. This water can get deep at times. Actually, it can get deeper than what my boots are. And you notice that I built a catwalk across here. Uh, there's been water in, in this drainage ditch all, all winter long. And now we're into uh, April, and it's basically all dried up now. And as we get, these are all myrtle bushes or myrtle trees that you see there ahead of us. And as we get up close to it, you'll see me pointing out that there was a group of wild pigs who were over there rooting around the other side of this tree on the right. Oh, pigs right there. They, they all did. take they off running. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, about half a dozen of them. Yeah, I'm just pointing at them now. There's another one up behind you looking at There's it. one or oh, two there just standing there staring at us, and they, they took off they're running. They're so. rooting it up. I cut through the myrtle tree, this is a kind of little pathway, and I, I parked in a clearing on the other side, and that's where I catch up with the pigs, I speed up a little bit here, and uh, kind of get them running pretty fast. see the tracks that uh, I've left, uh, I pull on here with my blazer, and this is where I park it when I go hunting in that big uh, wooden box stand, and I'll uh, walk in there from here, and there I'm on one of the other straggler pigs. And I think I turn around, and I go to the back, and lo and behold, there's another one over there, so it takes off running also. Yeah, there he goes. So with that, uh, we're headed back. Hope you found this interesting. Give me a like if you did. And um, I have more videos I'm putting together that of me traveling around on their property. We have, uh, at this time, uh, the videos were being taken at about uh, 7,250 acres. And we've just picked up another 730, so we'll have almost 8,000 acres. And you can see a little bit of standing water here. Um, and uh, of course I left some little deep tracks coming through here you know, back in the September, October time frame and then even December. So it gets a little soft, but uh, I was able to make it through. And there on the horizon, you can see the buildings of our campsite that we're headed into. So, uh, again, like if you like this type of video, uh, video uh, let me know, leave some comments. Uh, I'm putting another one together now that's going into a different area. I just call it my uh, my stand check ride, where I ride in and uh, check some of the other different stands and one of the other members who has one by his food plot. And just a general uh, area. These are all about 10 mile rides that I'm taking. And I'll try and keep them uh, short if I can. This one is uh, 20 minutes long. Uh, if I can, I'll, if you prefer them shorter, I'll try and make them a little bit shorter and compress the writing via the portion of it itself. So, again, uh, leave comments. Enjoy hearing from you. Look forward to the next video.